Hey there, this is SparkleStorm Zoo's How To's. Hey everybody, this is SparkleStorm, and my niece is wondering how to group items and ungroup items and why she might want to group and ungroup items. So for this video, I am going to do something over here in my otter habitat. So I realized that they spend a lot of time in here in this area coming back and forth into the pool and sleeping in this area so they really shouldn't have access to all of these things over here so I do need to put something in to stop them from getting into trouble with all of these objects so I think what I'm going to do just to start is maybe put in a rail so up here I have this rail to uh, keep them safe when they're up on this higher level and when I click it you can see that all of this stuff is grouped together and I just want to get one of these rail pieces so what I'm going to do is I can either hit this little enter group edit mode or I can hit R on my keyboard which shows up when I hover over top of this little pencil or I can double click one of the items in the group and it will select that item and enter me into the group which I can tell because this orange tab kind of opens up here that says editing group 138 and I can exit the group as well so I want to actually make a copy of this so I'm just going to control D on my keyboard to duplicate it and now I have a copy but I am still actually in the group so if I just set it down and then I want to move it later it's going to be a part of that entire group so what I'm going to do is I'm actually while I still have the piece selected I'm going to hit exit so that I'm no longer in that group and this piece just stands alone now. So I am just going to set this down. I'm going to sink that down using the shift key into the ground a little bit. I actually don't think these are going to keep the otters out, but just this is just what I'm going to do for now. So I've got one piece set all by itself, not in a group, and I am going to use my duplicate an advanced move tool here by clicking control X on my keyboard so that I can just slide it down and it's going to be perfectly lined up with that one and I left click to put it in place and it automatically makes me another one and again so now this time I'm going to right click just to unselect that and I have three pieces here I could just keep sliding it across but I do want to show my niece how I can group these together and then duplicate the group. So I am going to select this and I'm going to hold my shift key down to select all three of these objects. And then in my little menu here, I'm just going to merge scenery into a group with this little tree plus sign. And it's going to put those three into one group. So now this is one group and I could ungroup it again if I want to, but for now I want it together as a group. So I'm going to have the whole thing selected and I can now click control D on my keyboard or this duplicate on my menu here and get another selection or section of three fence pieces or rail pieces just like that and I can put it in down here. This actually isn't going to work now that I have it in here together because my keeper won't be able to fit through this space but that is just to demonstrate how I can copy a group. So now I have this these three pieces in a group and say I don't want one of them anymore I can just double click to enter the group and delete this piece and now my group is consisting just of two rail pieces so that is how we group objects and duplicate them now if I was say in a group and I am editing this group and I choose another object um, to add but I actually don't want it to be part of this group say I choose this object here and I just wanted to add it in as you know a floating platform in the water or something like that or a place for them to sleep whatever um, I'm actually still part of this group and I can tell because that orange tab is still up at the top so if I click this down it will actually be a part of this group but if let's undo that and I want to do that again so I'm going to grab this construction piece and when I put it into the here I'll enter group edit mode again 
and grab the construction piece. And if I accidentally am in a group when I grab a new piece and I don't want it to be in that group, I just simply again have to click this exit and I'm no longer editing that group. And now I can place this piece down on its own. And there we go. That is a very brief tutorial. Oh, he's so excited. He must be doing a good job of caring for all of the otters in here. But that is a very brief tutorial on how to group and ungroup items. If there is something else that you are wondering how to do or you would like me to make a zoo's how-tos video on, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.